hello guys how are you i hope you are doing great so yes you read that title correct i'm going to be showing you in this video how to get samsung dex in any of your samsung phone so without any further ado let's start the video beginning of this video i made a really bold statement stating that how to install or enable official samsung dex on any samsung phone you don't need a computer you don't need to install any stuff on any apk from third party from samsung not even from play store or app store you're not going to be installing any app or anything here we're not going to be downloading anything we're not going to be installing anything we don't need computer or internet or any sort of things and we don't even need to install reinstall firmware or stuff you don't have to remove any of any of the stuff all right this is a, just a samsung's uh, mistake that we found out literally this is samsung's mistake that they left in their one ui that enabled us youtubers and possibly you as well to enable official samsung decks on your phone uh, but let me show you this is samsung a16 and if you don't know about samsung they are known for not giving uh, their premium features example samsung only gives samsung decks on their premium samsung phones and tablets like they only give it to s series and z fold series not even on z flip series like i'm telling you how to enable it on a 200 dollars phone samsung doesn't even provide that feature officially on like a thousand dollar samsung flip phone they do provide that feature on samsung fold and samsung tablets s series and phones s series like s25 s24 even the fe series and for tablets s10 s11 ultra all those devices get samsung decks but let me show you just on uh quickly already i can see by a notch this is samsung budget range phone let me just uh disable dark mode so that you can constantly get an eye on that not so you don't get into doubt that i might have uh, replaced my phone during the process in my settings let me again show you into my about phone this is samsung's a16 and if we go into software information as you can see this is samsung's one ui 8 based on android 16 and let me first again show you if we search samsung's dex here you see there's no such option for samsung dex in our search results and if you just type dex here we don't get any results for dex either because this phone doesn't obviously have samsung dex and if you go out and into our controls and quick settings as you can see we don't have any option here either let me show you here just quick a glance for you guys so that you can see there's no dex feature there's no toggle for here either and to enable that what we need to do is just simply go into our phone settings app and search for it but to search for it we have to type keyboard <laughs> yeah i know it sounds crazy but just type keyboard and click on search and voila the first few results samsung dex samsung's keyboard setting from samsung dex and you know what's crazy a thing about this that this feature is supposed to be under connected devices and it is showing under connected devices like this is a tab in which the setting is uh, for samsung dex is available but if we go into connected devices there is no option for samsung dex but let me again search for keyboard here real quick and then connected devices and if we click here for settings there we go samsung dex is buried down in your phone's settings and it's official we didn't download it or install anything all right okay for this to work properly we have to connect it obviously wirelessly because if we connect it through a uh, usb cable samsung obviously have blocked that so that you can't connect it but wirelessly you can connect it to any display so here as you can see the phone this is samsung's a07 this is their samsung cheapest phone and this is my friend's phone i'm just uh, using it to show you guys that it also works on the cheapest phone like as you can see this is a07 it's running on one ui 8 and word 16 and if we go back into the search option and type again for keyboard or just 
uh, simply uh, let me collect it key and if you scroll it down it will, should be here somewhere here you just have to scroll down a bit scroll down scroll down here's samsung dex as you can see it's running on literally on samsung's a07 this is like the cheapest phone and it's also connecting wirelessly okay. let me just quickly grab a display here for you guys so here guys in front of you i have you i have used a laptop that is configured to behave as a wireless display through some uh, microsoft feature wireless display you can install it on windows 10 and windows 11 to transform your computer into a wireless display all right and this is their official feature anyways uh, on our phone we have to click on connect wirelessly and it's starting us searching for nearby device nearby uh, wireless display as you can see it's searching for it constantly and it has detected our Lenovo display and it's actually as you can see by the icon it detects this as a wireless display and because I have previously connected previously connected it to my Lenovo display it's showing me that option if I click on that and it will just pop up will show up in my bottom of my screen and then if we tap on start now as you can see the Samsung phone is casting wireless Samsung DeX onto our wireless display. By the way, this is super crazy to even get something like that working on your from your A16. Anyway, if for some reason my mouse doesn't work here, but my keyboard does. And if you want a full experience, desktop version of experience, you have to connect your keyboard and mouse uh, externally to your phone. You can connect it wirelessly or wired to a dongle or something. But for some reason my keyboard does work here so if i press uh, uh, windows key it opens up my whole uh, app drawer let me just try to prove it to you by opening first camera app here so i can show you the live feed from my camera to show you that this is the actual phone that is showing me that feed if we open up the camera app as you can see this is the whole camera app running from the front uh, camera front uh -huh camera from my phone as you can see the jitron is here because it's connected wirelessly anyways and if we um, switch the lens as you can see now we are getting the feed from our rear camera and by the way this whole app is working in desktop mode and if we close that app let me open up samsung's settings here just to preview this is still the same phone and if we go into my scroll down okay here's the setting app enter and as you saw the app just shifts from my phone onto that display and if we go back even more back okay so we're in the settings and if we scroll all the way down let me just uh, zoom it for you guys so that you can see that as well and in my about phone if we press it as you can see guys this is the same phone this is samsung a16 here's all the model numbers so you can again confirm those things and if we scroll down and go into my software information as you can see this is working on one ui 8 android 16 and if we go back i don't know if samsung after watching this video is gonna patch up this or it's going to remove it entirely or maybe hide it again somewhere else i don't know about that but this might be a great uh, excuse for not updating your phone i am 100 percent uh, actually against not updating your phone because if you don't update your phone you're going to miss out from latest features and security updates and everything it was just a joke from my side okay let's talk about something that we concluded from this video that samsung's all of those premium features that samsung calls like the, all of those ai features and everything they can work on every of every single smartphone of samsung but they do not provide those features deliberately so that you can they can convince you to spend more towards their premium for for example samsung a16 and samsung a26 are completely identical phones even in some countries or in some regions having the same processor uh, Exynos 1380 on both A16 and A26 but you know what's crazy about that that on A26 even having the same camera 
you can shoot 4K 6 or 4K 30 FPS from A26, but you are limited to 1080p 30 FPS on A16. Not because the hardware can't, just because of the software limitations to convince you to spend more towards A26. The same thing with your display. This is a 90Hz display. That's 120Hz. Okay, that I can 100% agree. It's a, a hardware a limitation. But if you talk about a screen recording, like screen recording, is so basic. Even Chinese phones from like $50 and like for five years, uh, old phones from Chinese brands also does screen recording. Like that's so basic feature to have. Even though Sam it has Samsung Smart uh, Samsung Capture, but it doesn't provide you that screen recording and it only provided to samsung's a26 you know why just it's not a hardware limitation the processes are the same but just to convince you to spend more and more and more that's it samsung's samsung dex is also one of that feature that they can provide it on every phone every hardware is capable of running like samsung dex but they do not want to provide it to you guys and i hope this video is beneficial for you if really then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video i will meet you in my next video till then thanks for watching goodbye for now